टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दी एनर्जी फ्रॉम दी सी इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनर्जी विच कैन बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम दी सी फर्स्ट वन इज दी टाइडल एनर्जी सेकेंड वन इज दी वेव एनर्जी एंड द थर्ड वन इज दी ओशल थर्मल एनर्जी इन अ टाइडल एनर्जी वी आर यूजिंग द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ अ टाइड्स All of you know that tides in a sea is occurs due to the gravitational force of moon. When the gravitational force of moon is just applied on that water during that time, the tides are occurs on the full moon night and the no moon night, right? So we can say that in this energy we are using the kinetic energy of our tide. But for that we have to construct a dam such that the mouth of this This dam should be open towards the sea. Why we have to open towards the sea? Because when the tides are come inside of that dam during that time, the turbine which is just fitted on that mouth is just rotating. And when it rotates during that time, the electric energy is produces. But for that, we need a special type of locations which are very less in a whole region or a in a whole. One. So we can say that there is some limitations are also in A. The first limitation is that the places are very less at where these type of dams can be constructed. Right? The places at where we can construct these type of dams are very less in a number. The second one is that it can only produces a energy during tides. As we say that it produces a energy during the tides. Due to the kinetic energy of tides, the turbine is rotates. So, when the tides are there, only and only at that time we can produce is a electric energy, which is only occurs on the full moon and the no moon night. Means only at two times in a month. So we can say that it can only produce is a energy during the tides, which is also one of the limitation of it. Now the second one is the wave energy. Generally, we know that there is so many waves in a ocean due to the velocity of uh, wind. As the wind flowing on the uh, from the surface of the sea, due to which the waves are produces uh, producing in a sea in a ocean. So we can say that there is also the kinetic energy of that wave. If we fit a turbine inside of that water. so the due to this kinetic energy this turbine will be rotated and if it is rotated then the electricity can be easily obtained from it but the main problem is that the the wave should be more intensity right it should be more intensive then the this energy can be easily obtained otherwise the energy which is produces by it, it is very less in a amount which is not commercially uses for us right so the intensity of that wave should be high if the intensity is high then the high energy can be obtained and which can be used by us so there is a limitation is there first of all for the industrial uses of this energy the intensity of wave should be high which is not possible at every wave right the wave energy requires a high intensity waves which is not possible at every wave so it is a one type of limitation of Okay. The second one is that due to some parts of these plants are inside of the water, the corrosion of their parts can be also occurs. Right? At here, some of the parts are fitted inside of the water. Right? So due to this water, the corrosion may be occurs in it, which is also one type of limitation. Right? Now the third one is the ocean thermal. Energy in a ocean thermal energy, as the name suggested, at here the temperature difference is there. What is the requirement of it? Uh, of it, the first requirement is that the temperature difference between the sur surface water and the water below that surface, right? The temperature difference should be at twenty degrees Celsius from the surface water and the two kilometer below the water. Right. If this requirement is fulfilled, then we can uh, construct a uh, this type of plant. In this type of plant, we have to use a volatile liquid like ammonia, which is easily vaporized at some high temperature, like a thirty to thirty-five degree Celsius. Right. As we uh, say that at the surface water, the surface water is more 
hot than the uh, water which is below A, right? So we have to construct a, some type of uh, equipment in it at where the ammonia can be easily rotating in a pipe. When it comes towards the surface of uh, ocean during the time due to the high temperature, it just vaporizes, and this vapor is uh, flowing towards the turbine. When it is flowing towards the turbine, the turbine will rotate and as the turbine rotates, you know that the electricity is produced. After that, after rotating the turbine, this vapor is comes in a below water, right? At here the temperature is less and just because of the less temperature, this ammonia again becomes a liquid. After that, with the help of one, this liquid is also uh, coming on the surface. When it comes to the surface during the time, it again vaporizes and like that, this whole uh, plant is working. The ammonia is just rotating inside of the water. When it comes to the surface, it becomes vapor and when it comes below that surface, it becomes again a liquid. When it is vaporized during the time the turbine is rotated and when the turbine is rotated, the electric energy can be easily obtained from it. Right? But also there is some limitation of this ocean thermal energy. The first limitation is that due to the high cost, we can't efficiently use it for a commercial purpose. As we know that we have to construct the whole plant inside of the sea. Just because of that, the cost of the uh, plant is very high. And as the cost is high, we can't efficiently use it for the commercial purpose. Now the second one is that it requires a 20 degree Celsius temperature difference between surface water and the water below 2 km from the surface which is not possible everywhere as we know that. It requires a temperature difference. What is the temperature difference? A 20 degree Celsius temperature difference between the surface water and the water below it at a 2 km. There should be a 20 degree Celsius temperature which is not possible everywhere. Right? So we can't construct this type of dam at every place. Right? So we can say that this is also one type of limitation. The question can become in your exam is like that. The what are the limitations of energy from the sea? Then you have to write the two limitations of every energy. The first one is the tidal energy. The first limitation is that the places are very less at where these type of dams can be constructed. Right? The second one is that it can only produce this energy during tides. Right? So there is a two limitations of tidal energy. Second one is the wave energy. In which the first one is that for industrial uses of this energy, intensity of wave should be high, which is not possible at every well. So we can say that the locations are very less for this type of energy also. The second one is that due to some parts of these plants are inside of the water, Corrosion of the parts can be also occur. So the corrosion is the second limitation. Now the third one, ocean thermal energy. First of all, it requires a volatile liquid, but it is required and it can be easily available. But the limitation is there due to high cost. We can't efficiently use it for a commercial purpose. For a commercial purpose, we can't use it efficiently. Right? It is not efficient for us. The second one, it requires a 20 degree Celsius temperature difference between surface water and the water below 2 km from the surface, which is also not possible everywhere. So here it is also the location problem. In three of them, the one same problem is that the location for A, right? Which is, uh, which is the main problem of this type of energy. Okay? Now the, our next topic is geothermal energy. As name suggested in a above topic we are seeing uh, we see that the ocean thermal energy right which is due to the temperature difference of ocean like that the geothermal energy means it is also related to the temperature but the temperature of a surface of the earth right all of you know that inside of the uh, earth crust there is so much lava inside of it which is uh, which has a high temperature which which can't be assumed by us also, right? It is that much harder inside of the earth. Sometimes, due to some nature calamities, this type of lava is just trapped inside of the some of the crust of or some of the layer of the earth. 
just because of that, the temperature of that region will become high. And this type of places are known as a hot spot, right? At hot spot, the temperature of that surface or the temperature of that layer of earth is uh, much higher as compared to the other, uh, other region, right? Uh, when some underground water are just uh, in a contact with it during the time, it just vaporizes. And sometimes this water comes from the surface of the earth, which is known as the hot spring, like in a Unai. But in Unai, there is a CSCO3 uh, inside of the uh, this region, and just because of this, that hot spring is occurred. But at a hot spot, also this type of hot spring are, can be occurred, right? If we use this heat, for producing the energy, then we can say that it is a geothermal energy. So in this, uh, some of these special type of pipes are used to just suck that heat from the uh, earth to vaporize the water and then this vapor is comes towards the turbine. Just because of that the turbine will rotate and as the turbine rotates, the electric energy is produced. In this, the cost of this plant is very less because we are not using any fuel for heating or for boiling the water. The heat is just comes from the underground heat, right? From the uh, inner side of the earth. So we can say that the cost of this plant is very less due to, uh, it does not require any fuel for it, right? But the main problem is that the location. This type of, uh, of locations are very less because we need a hot spot at where the lava should be trapped inside of the crust of a earth or inside of the some of the layer which is away from the uh, main center of the earth means we need a hot spot. These type of locations are very less and just because of that we can't construct this type of dams at every well. These dams are generally working in a New Zealand and the USA, right? United States of America. So here it is the two different types of energy from the non-conventional energy. First one is the energy from the sea and the second one is the geothermal energy.